Okay. Here I am at the end of Hawaii River Cave. I just signed the cave register. So anyway, now that I got that out of here, here's the end of the cave for real. So according to the cave register, they don't want people visiting after November 1st. So I got almost a month, but hopefully it won't take me that long. <laughs> anyway, all right, so here I go. Interesting how the floor is kind of flat, but look how it's got that one crack, kind of weird. So there's that cave register again, didn't change. Here's a cool little uh, formation up there. Then here's another little formation, very small, but whatever. Take what I can get. Oh shoot, there's a bat. Huh, I was talking, I didn't even notice. I even wrote in the cave register that there are no bats. Everybody's gonna think I'm a liar. Oh well. I wonder if I can go to the left side or just the right side. I came down on this right side. You know what, I think I can fit up here. Either way is a bit of work, it's kind of steep. Man, I'm making so much noise with the chink, 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 chink. I can't really do anything about that. I'm stepping on the floor and the floor is what's making the noise. I assure you, my drone wouldn't be any quieter. Illegal to fly a drone in the cave anyway. So, yeah. All right, here we go. Oops, hang on a second. Why is my camera pointing the wrong way? Rawr. All right, let's try this again. Wow. It's like being in a big jungle here between all these huge rocks. Wow. Okay, I'll go to the right here. I think I can do this. Mm. But this is a little bit of work. Oops, hang on a second. It's the most dangerous part. Well, one dangerous part of caves is where there shoots like a wedge because if you get yourself wedged in there you're stuck okay well there's a dead end <laughs> all right let's see here I'm trying to find a reasonable way down Yeah, so now I'm back to the big part of the cave where it's 40 feet tall, 80 feet wide or something. Wow. But the thing is, even though it's pretty, it just means nice big cliffs to fall off. So I have to be careful. Make sure I don't slip. I have to kind of find an easy way down and zigzag down so I don't just go off the nearest cliff. I'm sure it would save a lot of time, assuming I survive, but anyway.
Excuse me. Wow. This, this cave is so huge. Whew. A nice easy cave too. I mean, you know, at least I don't have to wash my head too much. Relatively safe cave. Okay, here's a nice big rock pile. Notice all the animal, you know what, on it, droppings. I think this is from rats. I don't know why the rats come so far into the cave. Oh yeah, hang on. This is the part where it looks like there might be another way out. I'm underneath that. So here I am back at the bottom of the cave. Notice how flat it is. Easy. Very, very easy. If I could pan up, show the ceiling. Yeah, not really. Even with the wide angle camera lens, it doesn't really show both the ceiling and the floor at the same time. Even though the floor is very, you know, it's level, it's flat. It's got all these loose rocks teeter-tottering under me, which makes it hard to go straight. Because I keep having to adapt to that. All right, here I am at the rock pile. A rock pile. <laughs> Whoa, I don't remember this from before. Some kind of kitty got stuck in here. I wonder how that happened.